What is going on my friends? Welcome back to another video. We are back in the shop working our way around the 08, which hopefully today is the last day that this thing is inside the shop for good. After this day, hopefully it is outside. We're gonna be wrapping up a lot of finishing details. We got one or two maybe new parts to throw on this thing before it heads out the door, but today is really just gonna be focused on uh, all of the little details. We still got the radiator, the intercooler, our new intercooler, um, and some miscellaneous stuff, the front bumper, and uh, this doesn't mean that the bugs are all worked out of it, but we are definitely very, very close to our first test drive. Um, um, you know, it always comes down to those little small details that kind of take up a little bit of time. So hopefully today we can knock out a bunch of those. Without further ado, let's just get into some of the work. It is actually the following day. Last night we were working on the old girl here. I figured it was a good time to stop because I wanted to explain something to you guys right here. So I know I'm gonna get a lot of questions about this. I figure why not just go through it in detail right now. That way if you guys wanna replicate it, it's very easy to do. So as you can see here, we were putting the front end together, got the radiator in, everything is kind of buttoned up on that end, started getting the uh, cables and everything run here. Now. One of the looks that everybody wants to achieve is, let's just give you guys an example right here. So when you pop your hood, you're like, man, look at that intercooler just sitting right out in front. Normally you have your AC condenser that kind of, you know, gets messed up. The fins get dinged up with all the road debris and everything. What you want to see is just a big intercooler hanging out up front. Now, obviously this truck over here, we have no air conditioning. This truck over here, we are not doing a Greg A delete on the AC. We want to stay nice and comfortable, but I really like that look. So what guys have done before, I'm not the first one to do this. This is actually the first time I'm doing it myself. So it took a little bit of time to kind of figure everything out the way I wanted to do it. So as you can see, we are done mounting the AC condenser. This one has seen a little bit better days. Uh, all of this stuff was here before I did this. So have no fear. It is tight, but it will uh, work no problem. Um, and again, from the little bit of research that I've done, it seems like uh, the cooling, everything still works and functions. Um, I wouldn't say maybe exactly how it was designed because obviously we're changing some of that. Air is still moving across all three coolers, your inner cooler, your condenser, and then your radiator, um, just in a kind of a different order. So uh, whether or not it's going to affect anything, I'm not really sure. We will have to do some driving and keep you guys posted on that. But here is how you hide your AC condenser. What we're gonna do is these bolts right here actually uh, just unscrew their torques. I think they're T20s. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to flip this bracket. We're going to, you know, the your factory. Okay, here's kind of gathering my thoughts as we're doing this. So number one, you can't do this if you have your factory trans cooler in this location. These tabs right here, right here, and this slide down right here, and this slide and this tab right here are for your factory transmission cooler. We do not, uh, one, on this truck have a transmission cooler because it's an automatic, um, I'm sorry, it's a stick truck, it's a stick truck. Get it together, Greg, really. Anyway, over here on this truck, not that we have air conditioning, but we have the coolers in the back. So if you delete your cooler out of the front and you're running coolers in the back or something, uh, just keep that in mind so you don't say, what am I supposed to do with this cooler? You can't do it if you have a cooler in the front. So what we've done is we've just flipped some brackets right here. This one was actually the other way because you gotta imagine it's this much further out. Um, flip this bracket and the lower brackets just need to be moved up. So you don't need to do anything over here. You probably need to tweak your AC lines just a little bit. Uh, but what we've done is just 
just kind of flip some brackets backwards. And then what we've done is utilize your factory uh, holes right here on your radiator that would be for your transmission cooler. They all have these holes. And then what we've done is we've kind of ground down this mount. This hole right here is not uh, small enough to actually put a bolt through, but we've got 73 points of attachment here, so I'm not really concerned about one little thing. So everything kind of slides down in the grooves. You flip a couple brackets here, and then it goes right behind uh, this front support piece here. Again, this is a little tight, but it does all fit and everything works as it should. And now when we go to put our new intercooler in, uh, you won't see any of that up front. That will all be uh, hidden and it kind of just gives it a little bit more of a sleek look. Just kind of, especially if you don't run any grill inserts and just see a big intercooler out front, just gives it a little bit more aggressive look. So anyway, that's how you do that. That's what it looks like. If you guys want to do something similar, it's not really that hard. We didn't have to undo any of our AC lines. All you really do is undo this top support piece, which we already had in, take that out, um, loosen up some of these. Uh, well, those are already out if you'd have this bar out. And then you just kind of slide it down in there and you tweak a little bit over there, but that is it. Anyway, we are getting ready to install our new Intercooler in the front here. That is pretty much where we're at. So seeing that we are gonna try and make a bunch of horsepower with this truck, we definitely wanted to go with an upgraded intercooler and Banks is taking care of that for us with one of their upgraded units. This thing is just absolutely massive compared to the factory intercooler. Just look, just look at this one shot right here from the inlets and outlet sizing uh, to the actual end tank design and how thin this gets here and just the overall design. Again, I, I've said it a million times, they don't design factory parts for trucks that are making a ton of power and making a whole bunch of extra heat. You want a performance part that is designed with the application of trying to get the air as cool as possible to perform as best as possible uh, under higher horsepower levels. And that's what this cooler is going to do. Uh, air moving across your intercooler uh, is only gonna get so cool with a factory cooler. What this is gonna do is take those temperatures and make them cooler there. I mean, there's not one person out there that is going to uh, argue with me that the cooler air that you can get into your engine, the more power that you, are, the, the power potential you have to make. Air temperatures are a huge, huge deal, especially on uh, turboed applications. So uh, again, if you guys don't know, you got a whole bunch of heat coming out over here. Uh, it gets really hot over here. Air moving across your intercooler is going to lower those to a certain uh, temperature, and then they go back into your engine. The cooler they can get over here, the more power potential you absolutely have. So what this is gonna do is ensure that we are cooling that air as much as possible with a much better designed cooler if you look at them, this actually looks like it's taller. And I mean, again, taller, bigger in every single area. Again, these uh, these coolers, uh, I'm sure you can make, make some power, but you can definitely have more potential to make more power, better power, cooler temperatures with an upgraded intercooler. So this thing is meant to withstand higher PSI, obviously factory trucks aren't really supposed to make more than, what, 30, 40? You put some tuners on it and they go up. This one is pressure tested to a much, much, much higher uh, PSI rating. That way, if, you, uh, if you're getting crazy in the boost department, this thing will handle it without kind of coming apart on you. So again, super pumped to be running a Banks intercooler out front. You guys know that I trust and believe in all of their testing. It's what we use on pretty much everything. Mm, just a just a nice piece and of course it's black which makes me extremely happy which is going to match going to match this unit extremely well so again if you guys are interested in any bank stuff i believe my discount code is pretty much good through the rest of the year uh, and i believe it's for 10 or 15 percent off it's in my link in my bio all my discount codes are always down there for you guys to take advantage of uh, hopefully it helps you out with some of your builds but again am i saying that you absolutely have to need to have this I never say that, but I will say that it probably will help your chances of eliminating any bottlenecks. We're also going to be using uh, their intercooler piping over here. Seeing that we're kind of running a custom setup, we're only usually using their one piece right here, but it's all three and a half inch. We're using their uh, nice boots here. 
Now they've even redesigned the way the outlets work. So you kind of got to use these boots that they have to line up some of this stuff. So we're going to go ahead and install this stuff. I've actually never installed one of their, I believe it's 03 to 09 third gen intercoolers on this truck. Uh, looks like this outlet is a little bit different, uh, but again, they do this stuff, they test it. I don't think anybody tests their stuff better or more thoroughly than Banks. So we're gonna throw this baby in and kind of uh, finish up wrapping up the rest of the installation on the intercooler pipes, the intake. The front end is now kind of completely coming together, so it won't be long before we are firing this baby up. been busting away on all of the little details sorry we're standing so close but we have got the front bumper on a lot of miscellaneous stuff went ahead and got all of the intercooler piping on everything is clamped down ready to go over here on this side we actually unfortunately we got the wrong air filter so no big deal guys over at evil fab are sending us out one and guess what this is big news big news guess what they're also sending out with that filter the turbos for the second gen so hopefully they'll be here in a couple days along with our new filter here so great news awesome guys they're going to send us out everything that we need uh this intercooler pipe is done kind of hiding away in there got her all clamped down in here lots of little details uh but we are pretty much ready to wrap it up for today and put this thing outside uh back this thing out of the shop get it uh, some sunlight. Oh, got the turbo blanket uh, in the back there. Just lots of miscellaneous details. Still a couple things pending. Um, one of the biggest things is the top uh, coolant hose. We do not have in yet because the brackets that actually hold this shroud right here, that bolt to, I believe it's the cylinder head or something in that front area, uh, we're getting powder coated because they were looking really crusty and I just did not feel like trying to sand them, spray paint them with everything and how good everything looks up top here. So those, we're waiting on those to powder coat because we gotta put those on before we fill this thing up with coolant. So unfortunately, we still do not have coolant in this thing. I was hoping to get a little bit more wrapped up, but as soon as I saw those brackets and forgot to kind of like send them off with the initial powder coating thing, powder coating parts, all that kind of stuff, I was like, well, at least let's get them done now. I'm not gonna halfway do it and put it together without getting them done. So uh, there will be still some other miscellaneous stuff, but we are definitely much, much closer to getting our first drive in and uh, yeah, all right, let's let's back this thing out. I'm, I'm sick and tired of like being cramped in this little this little space behind here. This thing this thing's next. Transmission's going in that. Anyway, let's back this thing out. Give this thing a good look with the front bumper on. Ooh, baby, it has not been together in quite some time.
is finally outside. Man, oh man, does it feel good to see this thing back together. I know a lot of you guys love this thing. I love it too. Man, oh man, we are so close I can taste it. A little bit better look outside here in the daylight. Man, it is so hot out here. It has got to be almost 100 today. Oh yeah. We are back. Almost back. When's the last time that we had both these guys right next to each other? Woo! Feels good. Feels good. But that is going to do it, guys. Give this video a big thumbs up if you are excited. The 08 is finally outside for, for almost good. Uh, we'll be driving it very, very soon. But that is going to wrap up this video. I will see you guys in the next one. We will be back inside here working on the first gen, getting that thing back, getting everything back up and running. And, uh, yeah, I'm excited. It's a great day. I'm pumped about the 08. Good, good stuff, guys. Anyway, I'll see you guys. Hit the like button before you leave. Subscribe if you haven't already. See you tomorrow. See you.